we make it look easy. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Andrew2613. Those of y'all who are new to the show, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, you know the rest. All the link is in the description below. But listen, guys, I want to talk about Bad Baby, man. Now, listen, this chick, I haven't really heard too much about her until recently. Uh, people are making a big deal out of her. I mean, she's got a new look to her. You know, she's looking a little spliffy. And, you know, I had some time to just think about this chick. Like, she's the catch me outside girl. But she's just got some buzz now because, you know, she got a new job going on with the chest area. You know, uh, I guess the new nose job done. You know what I mean? So people are, you know, saying that she's, uh, I guess, trying to act black. But. This is her reply video in her statement on her going after the credits on why she feels that acting black doesn't make any sense. And somehow she brought in a famous hip hop star from the past involved in using an example in her situation, which I thought was kind of like, eh, it's kind of fucked up in a way, but you know, it is what it is, but I'm just going to go ahead and play this. And as always, I'll go ahead and give you my wonderful, marvelous commentary. I'll let you know what I think. Let's go. If I wanted to be fucking black, you would hear me talking about I'm black. I'm black. I would be saying the N-word. I would be fucking doing shit that's, that's, that black people do. The fuck? I don't act black. I don't, I don't... I don't think a lot of black people would give you a pass <laughs> on that. You would get a lot of lash, though, baby girl. We just got to keep it real, though. I mean, a lot of the black community... Would not approve of the fact that, oh shit, my bad, would not approve of the fact that you're using the N-word, so, you know, not even Eminem can get away with the N-word, and, you know, he's a, he's about the closest white person that could be close to a nigga, as a nigga could be, and he can't even say the N-word, but let's keep on going. What the fuck you talking about? Who wants to be black? I don't understand that. I really just can't comprehend it. What's wrong with being black? Don't go sit down. That's what blows me. Black people will sit here and tell me I'm trying to be black. Then call me ignorant, disrespectful, ghetto. Like, what the fuck? What are you talking about? Is, is that what is that what your definition of black is? The fuck? Y'all. That, she just got a point there. You know what I'm saying? Like, people would. Let me go ahead and fix this. My bad. I mean, I got to agree with her because she's actually making some logic in here because it's like people would turn around and say. Well, let's go ahead and just play this, man. So that way, let me let me go ahead and rewind this shit. My bad. If I wanted to be fucking black, you would hear me talking about I'm black. I'm black. I would be saying the n-word. I would be fucking act, doing shit that's that's that black people do. The fuck, I don't act black. I don't. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Who wants to be black? I don't understand that. I really just can't comprehend it. <laughs> don't go sit down. That's what blows me. Black people will sit here and tell me I'm trying to be black. Then call me ignorant, disrespectful, ghetto. Like, what the fuck? What are you talking about? Is, is that what is that what your definition of black is? The fuck? Y'all see me with curly hair. I'm trying to be black. This uh, I don't know what other people were saying, but being disrespectful and being ghetto. I don't think they're trying to say you're being black. They're just trying to say you're being disrespected, <laughs> disrespectful, ignorant and ghetto. I mean, you could be disrespectful, ignorant, and ghetto, and be non-black. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it before with other people outside of the black race. So you could just be an ignorant motherfucker. You ain't got to be black to be ignorant as fuck. You ain't got to be a nigga to be black either. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Because you're acting like one right now. Just saying. Well, you have in the past. I don't know. Maybe you kind of, she's kind of growing up a little bit, though. I, I gotta give her credit on that. She's she's kind of gotten some logical sense. She's still a little bit, a little looney tuny, but she's 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 getting it together. She's actually getting it together. So you gotta give her some some props to that perspective. This this is a glue in with my natural hair left out. This all this right here is my natural hair. All this is my natural hair. This middle is my natural hair. This right here, this is my natural hair. This is coming out of my head. Is she trying to make fun of black women? Hold up. I'm not trying to be black. This is my natural hair. Is she trying to say that black people or black women in particularly 
don't have natural hair? Because I've seen black women with curly hair that are like that, um, that have hair like that, that could be mixed as well. And they are, that's their natural hair. But I've seen some black women that are not even mixed that have that type of texture of hair too. So I, I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know if that's what she's saying, but I'm going to keep on. I'm going to rewind it back. But it kind of sounds like she's kind of poking fun at black women, man. I don't know. If, I don't know. It just sounds to me that she's taking a, a little bit of a jab at black women. You know, if I was a black female, I think I would kind of feel a little bit offended. You know what I'm saying? This just just how she kind of presented herself. I don't know. Do, do y'all feel the same way? Black, black women, my black women subscribers. I mean, uh, it's, you know, do y'all feel that she's poking fun at y'all? I mean, is black women not supposed to have, not have glue in their heads and shit? You know, from their hairs? I'm, I'm just saying. If I wanted to be fucking black, you would hear me talking about I'm black. I'm black. I would be saying the N-word. I would be fucking I, doing shit that's, that's, that black people do. The fuck? I don't act black. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Who wants to be black? I don't understand that. I really just can't comprehend it. Oh, shit. In other words, who wants to be black? I just can't. Uh, damn. Is it just me or do I just... Do I just hear the sneak? This, listen, man. You know what I can't stand with a lot of these cracker, right, cracker, cracker, cracker kind of type of white trash type of women? Is that a lot of them will just be indoctrinated by the black community, especially by you bulky and ray ray ass niggas. Because y'all will accept this type of fuckery coming from these women. And then as soon as they turn the other cheek and they start disrespecting the culture, you're like, what the fuck? This kind of reminds me of a Miley Cyrus moment. I'm having a my J's on my feet. J's on my feet. Remember she used to make Miley Cyrus used to be all into hip hop and shit and all of a sudden... The bitch, Tana, she, she said something that was very controversial. And black people didn't take it too kindly. Exactly. I can't remember. Maybe back in 2014, 15, some shit like that. And it's like all of a sudden she changed sides. It's like, I feel like sometimes these people are culture vultures. Not saying all of them, okay? So shout out to my wiggers out there that represent the black community. Shout out to you. But I can't stand you part-time blacks. Why do y'all, why the hell is it black? Why the hell do you want to be black when it's convenient for you? Why do you want to be cool with black people when it's convenient for you? But when shit hits the fan and Donald Trump is your president, nah, I'm just fucking around. But anyways, y'all know what I'm talking about. All of a sudden, your asses don't want to be black anymore. It's not cool to be black. Who wants to be black? Who, who wants to be black? Damn. It's like black is just, just, it's just a whole negative statement these days. Good God. Don't go sit down. That's what blows me. Black people will sit here and tell me I'm trying to be black. Then call me ignorant, disrespectful, ghetto. Like, what the fuck? What are you talking about? Is, is that what is that what your definition of black is? The fuck? Wow. I don't think the people said their definition of black was calling you disrespectful, ignorant, and ghetto. Uh, I think you probably put it in those terms. I mean, you could be disrespectful, ignorant, and ghetto and not be black. I don't understand when people say, oh, well, they're, you're ghetto. Just because you're ghetto, I mean, just because you're ghetto, you fix this goddamn mic. Just because you're ghetto, that doesn't mean you gotta be black. You could be a ghetto hood ass, ratchet ass white bitch and not even be black. The fuck? Y'all see me with curly hair, I'm trying to be black. This, this is a glue in with my natural hair left out. This, all this right here. She said, you see me with curly hair and you think I'm trying to be black. You see, this is my natural hair. It's not glued in. Are you disrespected black women saying all they do is glue in their hair? Is it just me or... Uh, listen, man. Listen, I just call bullshit for what it is, man. You know me already, people. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a universal person. I just talk and I speak on logic. But it's just something I'm just reading behind the lines here. I think she's taking a jab at black women. I really think she's trying to disrespect black women, and I'm not cool with that shit. Don't get me wrong, I have my issues with black women, and black women know that. Just the ratchet-ass, ghetto-ass, hood-ass, ratchet-ass bitches. But besides all that, I love my black women. But I can't stand the fact that if I date one of you type of bitches, the next minute you want to do is start disrespecting black women. Like, I'm supposed to be cool with that shit. 
Don't come at me disrespecting black women, man. I don't want to hear that dumbass shit. If I'm dating you, which I wouldn't, but I'm just saying, if you were one of those type of hood-ass, ratchet-ass white bitches, then there's a difference. But come on, man. Get it together, man. Do I look like I have glue in my hair? My hair is curly. See, my hair is curly. Curly. As if black women can't have curly hair. If black women can't have natural curly hair. Come on, man. Come on, man. Not all. We ain't all ghetto. Come on. Just like you said. But just because they said you ratchet and ghetto didn't say you black. They just said stop acting ratchet and ghetto. Maybe there's some people who say stop acting black. But if they say stop acting ratchet and ghetto, then there you go. <laughs> Get off live, you tweaking. Look. <laughs> oh, shit. This shit is funny as hell. Let's keep all playing. Gluing with my natural hair left out. This, all this right here is my natural hair. All this is my natural hair. This middle is my natural hair. This right here, this is my natural hair. This is coming out of my head. This is coming out of my head. It's blended with my hair. I could wet my shit right now. It's going to curl the same... Y'all will come at me. Y'all will come at me talking about, oh, this bitch want to be black wearing foundation. Fuck. Okay, why in the hell is this chick showing her kucha kucha? Her kooka mama. How you showing your kooka mama on TV? Look, look at this right here. Come on, man. Come on, man. Listen, YouTube, listen. I just want to say this right now. I am not promoting any type of sex towards pedophile or kids or activity now listen this chick is 17 years old but despite the point the fact of the matter is i'm making this into a funny ass shit and it's really hard for me to even take into the fact that this girl's still 17 she's still fucking a minor you know how many rappers been trying to smash this chick ever since she got on the scene but when they found out the chick was like 30 well wasn't she like 14 years old like five years ago is it just me or is she just lying to the people? I looked at her age. They said, she's oh, this bitch is only 17 years old. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck? How the fuck you still 17, bitch? It's like five years ago you were 17. God damn. Is she only 17? I looked at the um, uh, Google search and shit. Bad, bad baby. Ca catch me outside. How about that? Chick is only 17 years old. I know it just seems so long ago that that catch me outside shit, but the chick is only 17. This is crazy. Good God. Fucking whatever. And why are you showing your kooka mancha, man? See, you got money. That's the thing. You got money, so you could get away with a lot of bullshit. That's the thing. You could get away with a lot of bullshit that most young other girls can't get away with, or even black chicks can't really get away with shit like this, all right? The only thing they could do is just twerk on, a, you know, twerking little videos and shit. And people will bash him and shit for twerking. Just the ones that have the babies, cause I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't condone that shit. You know, when you have kids in front of you and you're twerking and stuff, or even if you're a celebrity trying to twerk, you know what I'm saying? It's just a bad image to the young youth, man. All these women are just poison in the industry, man. They just putting out a lot of bad negative energy out here, man. But people will come on here when I speak the truth and they say that I'm hating. But then when this chick, you see, black girls. When you said something about this chick, black girls used to defend her and used to talk shit. Now, now, and there used to be a lot of thirsty ass black niggas too, and I'll probably hit that shit. You know what I'm saying? I looked at the chick, but when I found her age, I was like, oh shit. What the fuck? The hell you doing doing that shit? Where's your parents at, motherfucker? And then when I see this shit, man. See, when you talk shit about this, there was a lot of black women that was defending this chick. I'm telling you. There was a lot of black people in particular, men and and Men, men and black women, black men and black women were defending this chick. When I told y'all straight up, like, listen, man. And there was some that was against this chick. I said, listen, bad baby, bad Barbie, catch me outside chick ain't in it for the culture. She's in it for a come up. And if that means just swagger jacking, I'll get a hood rat ratchet style, which is formerly known as a DNA stigma in the black community as ratchetness and she indoctrinated ratchetness black people then who gives a fuck let them have that shit we don't want to be known for that man let them have that ratchet shit show her kooka 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 mama lie darker foundation kooka mama come on man this chick look like she changing up sides now man she probably don't want to be a black girl she probably want to be puerto rican this chick look like ain't she looking like a mamacita right now 
Look at my natural hair. I ain't trying to be black. You, you, you a Latina now, man? Bitch. You Italian now? She's showing her true colors now. Now she's shitting all black women. Oh, it gets worse. Let's keep on playing. Little Kim wears fucking foundation that and no disrespect towards Little Kim. I, I'm actually a fan of her. I know. Okay, okay. I'll give you that. You did say no disrespect to Little Kim. I'm actually a fan of hers. But you yeah, it's kind of a it's like yeah, I'm a crack on your ass, but no disrespect. But I gotta use you as a as a comedy skit. No disrespect. Come on, man. But she used a lot of foundation on her face, and don't get me wrong, man. Little Kim at one time was a beautiful woman before she made herself into a plastic doll, man. We got to keep it real, folks. I love me some Little Kim, but we got to be real, man. She done fucked up, man. She fucked up in the face, man. Ain't no dis wrong disrespect. This is no disrespect to Little Kim because Kim, Little Kim is the queen beat. When it comes down to the music, hands down, she's the baddest bitch in the game and still is the baddest bitch in the game. In my personal opinion, when it comes down to music. But when it comes down to sex appeal, good God, you fucked up. I'm just saying. But let's keep on playing. Go on, bad Barbie. With your 17 year old self Go with your bad self girl No disrespect towards her But the girl wears foundation that's too light for her face The girl went and got a nose job To have To have a Alright let, let, let's, 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 Alright let's look at little Kim compared to uh, Bad Barbie You know what I'm saying Oh shit she might... <laughs> Oh shit She might be right Oh god Good god Little Kim come on Come on, mamacita. Come on, baby girl. Come on, Brooklyn. Come on. You got to do it better than that, baby girl. Mm -mm, them foundations on your face. Mm -mm, no. Mm -mm -mm. You're looking like a clown, little girl. She might be right. You're looking like more like Miley Cyrus in this picture. Look at your Casper the Friendly Ghost ass. But then again, little Kim, damn. Damn, damn, damn. See, if you never did that, yeah, she she got a point, though. No disrespect, little Kim, but you do be wearing a lot of foundation, man. I'm just saying. But, um, damn. I feel bad, man, because I don't, I, it's like, man, little Kim ain't got shit to do with this, man. Why the hell little Kim got to be brought in this shit? But I know that is a perfect example, though. I can't lie. That is a perfect example, but hold on. Let me see if I, that is a perfect example, though. But let's keep on continuing, man. That is a perfect example. So, really and truly, we, uh, you know, yeah. I still feel bad, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a little Kim, though, man. Little Kim ain't do nothing to nobody, man. She don't deserve this shit, but damn it, you do wear a lot of foundation, though. But let's keep on playing. Smaller nose, like white people. Like, y'all don't see that? She turned herself into, and I'm like I said, no disrespect towards her. She do, I don't, I don't got no problem with it. She do, she do what make her happy. That's on her. But like I'm saying, she literally got surgery to make herself look like a white person. She's wearing fucking white, like, makeup that's light. And y'all don't say a goddamn word about her. <sighs> Bad baby, I agree with you, though. I agree with you. You're totally right in what you said. I know it's a slap in the face of the black community because it, oh, oh, it hurts so bad. It, oh, God damn, it hurts. But the truth of the matter is this, though. We got to speak on logics and facts, though. Okay? Little Kim's paid her way. Okay? She's paid her way. She's grown now. She's older. So people ain't tr cracking on no little Kim. She did fucked up in her face. She did. That foundation, the nose job and all that. But here's the thing. Besides all the cracks and the jokes and shit, Little Kim's been through a lot. When she was younger, she was always told she was ugly. When she was always beautiful. Naturally beautiful. And Little Kim was a natural, beautiful woman. But she didn't have to go to that extent. But I kind of see why. Because society made fun of her. So she did what she had to do to make herself feel good. Which in fact... I don't think it really made herself feel good. I think she was doing it to please others. As she got older, she realized that all that shit I was doing wasn't really what I wanted to do. It wasn't It wasn't what made me happy. I should have been my natural self. But this happens all the time with women. But look at you, though. You got a nose job right now. You're not being your natural self. You know, one minute you're, 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 uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> well, wait, you, listen, man. You were better just being the natural, ratchet, white chick that you were. I think a lot of people gave you more respect before. Now she, it's like she's, I don't know, maybe Hollywood's gotten to her, man. She's just looking kind of plastic over here. She's got the straight nose now. So I don't know if she's, I don't know if she's really trying to be black. I think she's trying to be more of an upgraded Hollywood white girl. If you look at it, look at it. She's got the lips done. That's probably her natural here, most likely. But the nose job is done. Listen, you know what's going to happen, man. I'm going to tell, tell you exactly what's going to happen, bro. Those of y'all who listen, man. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen with this chick. This chick right here is going to become the person that she was talking shit about. Let's think about it. This shit happens all the time, man. All the time. They start off with little shit. You know what I'm saying? They start off with doing the little stuff to their hair, to their face. And this is just, this is just go out to women. Hollywood, period. You know, just when they have the natural, beautiful looks. When they're on the come up in the next minute, they get the nose job, the boobs done. And, you know what I'm saying? They want to look more close to looking like a damn sex doll instead of actually looking natural. And then they get multiple boobs and ass and nose jobs done, you know what I'm saying, if they go, if they overdo it, and this is what happened with Little Kim, she got too much Botox, same thing with the Kardashians, Botox after Botox after Botox after Botox, when they get older, that shit's all gonna cave in, and that shit ain't gonna look right, man, natural beauty is always, always superior to so false fabrication, or fabrication, I should say, false fabrication of your natural beauty, can I get an amen? Natural beauty is always beautiful. Always found natural beauty as being beautiful. But good God, come on. Listen, you got the nose job done, okay? Don't go no more. Don't do no more. Because it looks like you, you it looks like you're going to go even further and, and do more plastic surgery. I'm just saying. But why are you showing your coochie? You already got some fake boobs already done and you're only sitting. Come on, man. Y'all don't say a goddamn. And please, man, this is, listen. This is just me talking about lessons here, being educated, you know, just teaching lessons here, man, because this is just, to me, I think this is just sad, sad, bro, sad, but you didn't have to bring little Kim in it, but I understand your ideology, your ideology, I'm sorry, I'm all tongue tied, I understand your ideology, and what you're talking about, my bad, yo, yo I've been drinking some of this, that's that fucking Irish... Irish cream and that shit is so good it got me slurring right now but you are just trying to make up your own ideology you know what I'm saying but I, I get it though I understand you're trying to use little Kim's ideology because she does wear a lot of pound or like you know foundation on her face but at the same time little Kim has been through a lot and she's paid the way and she's got a lot of respect for the black community a lot of respect for the black community so she's paid her way in that respectable form, you haven't, and you're a child, so this is why they're talking shit about you, maybe one day you're gonna be a superstar, and you will be a legend, but you gotta focus on yourself, you was focusing on the music though, you was doing so good with the music, I don't know what happened, now you got back into the ratchet shit, man, I guess the economy, economy's all fucked up right now, I mean, we know the economy's all fucked up right now, you know, we know it's all fucked up right now, so it's like people was on, people was at home, got nothing else better to do like my goddamn self. I get it, but I've always been doing videos. But you got people at home right now doing outrageous shit that they would never would do. You know, you're going to get more people viewing YouTube contenters because everybody's home for the damn pandemic, uh, um, what you call it, uh, corona shit. So... Here comes more of the trolls talking shit, especially the ones that just look at the title of the video and quit the one the thumbs down and start crying. Start crying and shit just because you have an open opinion, your own mindset. But the ones that rock with you, the ones who subscribe to your channel, know what you all about. But it's always these new niggas, you new motherfuckers. I can't, ooh, you new motherfuckers. I can't stand you niggas. Get the fuck off my shit. Especially you trolls. I hate you motherfuckers. No, let me stop. <laughs> I hate you motherfuckers. With a passion. But that's tough love, baby. Tough.
I flab. Get them thumbs up. Anyways. But anyways, man, let's get back to this video, man. Shout out to Bad Baby, man. Do your thing, man. Show your cuckoo, my mama. Don't let them haters say, don't, don't crack your smile, man. You ain't trying to be black. Because you, you got real hair like this. My shit is real. Yo shit is fake. You use glue. I don't use that much foundation. Sounds to me that you're talking shit about black women. Hmm. I'm just saying. No disrespect towards her, but the girl wears foundation that's too light for her face. The girl went and got a nose job to have to have a smaller nose like white people. Like y'all don't see that? She turned herself into and I'm like I said, no disrespect towards her. She do I don't I don't got no problem with it. She doing what she do what make her happy. That's on her. But like I'm saying, she literally got surgery to make herself look like a white person. She's wearing fucking white like makeup that's light. And y'all don't say a goddamn word. Yo, why is she showing her panties right there? <laughs> why did she really have to do that though? I mean, yo, you could have come on, man. You could have <coughs> oh, shit. Come on, man. You know she did this shit on purpose. Like, come on. You wearing exotic, erotic clothes now, showing certain things for views. We get it, baby girl. You gotta get your ratchet ass paper, girl. Get your your ratchet ass motherfucker. You you ratchet. Get your money, ratchet. Ratchetness. This is the attack of the ratchet white bitches. They ain't giving a fuck. They ain't got no glue. No glue. This is my real head, bitch. This is my real curly head, bitch. Bitch. Motherfucker. This girl, man. Come on. Get it together. Ratchet ass about her y'all don't say a goddamn fucking word about her but i put on a foundation that makes me look tan that makes me look tan that i didn't even do that alex uh, so you trying to make excuses for being black <laughs> oh shit this girl oh my god she's my she's my hero boy cheers to you you all right mm. So I'm tweaking on this shit. This shit is good. But listen, man. Good, good like fire. Listen. Listen, man. Bad example. You trying to tan. I'm not trying to be black. Listen. Are you trying to have a personality defect? Are you trying to change your ways and say, listen, guys, I'm not ghetto anymore. I'm not trying to be black. Don't you see? Don't you see? This is Dr. Phil, girl. Tell me, don't you see? I'm not trying to be black no more. Catch me outside, bitch. How about that? Them days are over, bitch. Don't you see? I can't be white because I'm already white. I can't be black. Because I act black. This is how I am. But I'm white. I know I'm white. ha. <laughs> She's having a personality defect. Something's wrong with this girl. Somebody get her Dr. Phil. I would love to see her on a new Dr. Phil show. Listen, man. She's still young. She needs to be on it. But she's become a successful woman. But she, man, next time she's going to be on Dr. Drew, Dr. Phil, one of those Dr. Drew. Was it, was it Dr. Phil? Yeah, Dr. Phil show. She's going to be on Dr. Phil back again. She's going to have an identity crisis. She's probably going to talk and just want to talk about, like, listen, I am... A superstar now I make money okay I'm no longer that girl anymore I'm making music I'm going on tour I'm seeing people you know and, and, and people are gonna be more annoyed with you like bitch nobody hears your music anymore I don't know but I, I, I don't know man this girl right here I don't know I don't know she looks like she's trying to be a mixed black girl to me you look at her now <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to Bad Baby, man. Do your thing, man. This is just funny. Funny games. That's all it is. Funny games. You guys be the decision. What do you guys think? Do you think she's trying to be black? Do you think she's insulting black women but trying to be black? Or do you think she's trying to be back to being white and being, you know, kind of want to be praised by her own community now and just like, hey, listen, I'm not that girl anymore. I'm growing up. Do you think I want to be black? Do you think I want to be black? Look, bitch, my hair is real. It's not glue. It's curly. Damn, like black girls ain't got curly hair, bitch? Come on. That makes me look tan. That I didn't even do. That Alex did. 
I didn't tell him what color to use on me. He, he used whatever color he thought was going to work on me. And the fuck? And that shit blended fine. Y'all just seen it with the light on it and got dramatic. Ooh. The fuck? Y'all just hate us. The fuck? This shit really don't make no fucking sense to me. And she, ooh, she's showing the kookamunchu. The kookamama. Close bitches could mind. run around trying to have fucking lighter skin, but when 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 the next bitch oh y'all y'all <laughs> are you looking at <laughs> are you looking at these bitches right now? She got a face surgery because she was being abused, not because she wanted a smaller nose. Was she really? Come on, man. You don't think she probably used that as a come up though? Was she really being abused by white parents? Okay. <laughs> Okay, go to your room. Put your head on the wall. And don't look back. You're gonna put your head on the wall for five seconds. Bad little boy. Bad little girl. Next minute, they'll start taking their video games away. Or their TV or their iPhone. Oh my god, my parents were so abusive to me. They took my iPhone 4 away from me when I was a child. They took my iPhone 4 away from me. Man, let me tell you something, girl. I got my ass whooped. My parents, try having some island parents, okay? These motherfuckers will go outside the woods, chop off a, a, a piece of that they used to call it the switch. You know, they used to call it the switch, a little tree branch. You know, carve that shit up. Whoop your ass with that shit. And I used to have scars. Was she really abused, though? If she was really, really abused, I apologize. But I don't think this girl was abused, man. This is all fun and games, man. Come on now. We joking. It's comedy. I don't think this girl... Come come on, man. Her being abused, so this is why she's wilding out, acting crazy with money. Get the fuck out. Bitch, you ain't no abuse. Abuse my ass. Fucking comment section. This shit really don't make no fucking sense to me. Bitches could run around trying to have fucking lighter skin, but when 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 the next bitch gets put under a light and it looks like she has darker skin, the fucking world ends. Oh my god! Like, come on, get the fuck out of here! Y'all just want to hate me because it's a trend. Everybody hates Zayn because it's a trend. Everybody who's ever been around me, everyone who's ever gotten to know me, everyone who's ever been my friend has always loved me and always stuck around. So please. The fuck? You think, you think I would have a black best friend? You think my best friend would be black as fuck? Why does she have to call her friend black as fuck? No. No. Don't do that. You're why. No. Don't call her black as fuck. Don't use those words. So, yo, you lucky she your friend. She probably mixed. She don't look black as fuck to me. Hold on, let me take a She said black as fuck. Where does she look black as fuck? Does she understand the word black as fuck? Do you know what black as fuck is? You, you ever see, uh... You ever see that, that man Seal? You ever see Tyrese? Well, Tyrese is black. Yeah, he black as fuck, too. You ever see, uh, Rick Ross? <laughs> oh... I don't know, man. I don't know. Her friend don't look black as fuck to me. I mean, I, what's your definition of black as fuck? Miss Catch Me Outside, how about that? What's your definition of black as fuck? Because I would like to know. With your kooka mancha. Close your legs, girl. You nasty. You nasty ass. Come on, man. Something, man. Come on, man. Something ain't right here. Something just ain't right here. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know about her friend. Her friend just looked like she just chilling. Like she don't want no parts of this shit. And who's to know if that's really her friend? What if that's like her? Uh, I guarantee you it's not her friend. How much you want to bet that this chick right here is not her friend? Why I got this feeling that this black girl is not her friend? This black girl is probably her, um, what they call those people that that's around celebrities, uh, maybe assistant, maybe her hair stylist, 
Maybe she has her own personal hairstylist or what they call those people, a uh, personal assistant, or one of those, or a promoter. You know what I mean? Ah, I don't know about all this, man. Some just, whatever. I guess anything for ratings, right? Trend. Everybody hates Zen Young because of trend. Everybody who's ever been around me, everyone who's ever gotten to know me, everyone who's ever been my friend has always loved me and always stuck around. So please. The fuck? You think, you think I would have a black best friend? You think my best friend would be black as fuck? Why she gotta say if that? I, if, I, if I didn't like black people, if I was racist and I was black fishing, you think my black best friend would let me black fish? Actually, you won't. You, if, if, I, if I said to Alex, if I said to Alex, oh, Alex, make me dark. I would be like, bitch, what? what? Okay, but, well, all right, listen. Why does it even bother you? But, yeah, she's young, though. You know what I'm saying? So she's full of emotions and she's gonna act all crazy and shit because somebody's talking shit about her. Like, shit, listen. I got people who talk shit about me every day. Even on this YouTube shit. Shit, there's probably people talking shit right now about me. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you. <laughs> but listen, man. Real talk. You gotta understand, man. This is life. People gotta judge people. People, people gotta say you look like this, you look like that. But you're, you know, listen, I know the world... It's tough. It's hard. You're going to have people like you and people not like you. But when you have a million odd followers, like a million people, this girl has like a million, over a million people follow her on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Facebook and all that other shit. You got to you gotta expect to have this type of drama, baby girl. You got to expect to have people that's not going to like you. It, 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 it is what it is. But you'll be all right, though. You tough, right? Exactly. Yeah. I would be like, bitch, what? Exactly. I would like, be like, bitch, what? Every bitch, China what? would have been like, what bruh, the fuck? Y'all won't tell me that I'm trying to be black while I did that photo shoot at Black China's house with a black. Okay, it's not that serious though. Because people are telling you to calm the fuck down. So what? Quit screaming. I'm right here. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is with the check, but he's my hero. <laughs> Danielle, she really think you're annoying. <laughs> If your puff bar ever sets off and keeps firing, this is a good yo. I would I'm gonna follow this chick just for some laughs because it's quarantine and I need a good laugh. I need something to laugh about. And this girl is entertaining as shit. And I think she's going back to her old ways, man. But listen, girl, you getting a I I don't know, man. You getting a little bit too old, man, to be acting like this, man. If you get this imagine when she gets to 21 <laughs> if she's ratchet like this now imagine when she gets 21 oh catch me outside bit how about that her ass gonna go crazy her ass gonna go crazy on on 21 man I, 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 don't, I don't know man this shit this shit by here right here boy is gonna be the the funniest person of the century coming up very soon i think she's trying to get her groove back which she probably will but damn, all that screaming, man. Calm down, girl, 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 girl. <laughs> that I'm trying to be black while I did that photo shoot at Black China's house with a black makeup artist. Even though, yeah, I was just gonna say you. What's hot right now? I'ma always be fucking hot right now. Always be the, I'm always be the fucking topic of discussion because I'm that bitch and I came here to stay. That's why I ain't fucking going nowhere oh and that's why I ain't going nowhere since fucking 2016, bitch. I've been here 2016, 17. I've been here and I'm here to fucking stay. Oh, you tell her. You you tell her. Tell the ratchet ass bitches. I am the ratchet of all ratchetness and ain't no ratchet bitch taking my ratchet crown. I'm here to stay, bitch. I've been here since 2016 and I ain't going nowhere, bitches. Bitches. I'm ratchet of all ratchet queens, bitches. Bitches. She she ain't playing with none of you hoes. So you... The ones that, you know, got curly hair. The ones that you glued up. I'm ratchet of you, bitches. Fuck, I ain't been doing nothing but going up. Nothing been going up. More songs going go. More songs going platinum. Y'all sitting on your mama couch hating on the bitch for wearing makeup. Yo, which song did she came out that we went platinum? Can somebody tell me? Because I don't know. I don't follow up on this shit. I'm just trying to figure out. I mean, she had a couple of songs that was, ah, you know what I'm saying? Low-key was kind of fire and shit. She had some low-key fire-ass shit. But I'm just trying to figure out what songs did she come out with that that shit was a banger. And everybody was playing that 
till today to 2020 because I don't know. I mean, besides, she's known for being the catch me outside chick, but she did come up with some songs. But I ain't gonna lie, the chick could the chick could spit. So I already hey, listen, I don't want to have no bad baby fans coming at me now. All right, okay. Cause I know this chat, I'm gonna have. Oh, you hating? Oh, you talking shit about her? Oh. Then the other ones be like, "Yay, she want to be black." Yay. Next minute they like me, then they hate me. Listen, I'm even on this, man. I make fun of the shit, cause the shit is funny. It's funny as shit to me. I just think the shit is hilarious, man. Well, let's keep on playing. Go ahead, baby girl. Baby, bad baby. Tell why you mad. Up the fuck? How the fuck that work? Mm. How about that? Kuka mancha. Kuka 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 mama. Showing up, kuka. I don't get it. Everyone's telling me to shut up, but y'all the same ones telling me that I'm I'm trying to be black. I don't get that. Don't tell me to shut up. Then when I make you, when I make a fool out of you, don't tell me to shut up. That doesn't make sense. Yo, why this girl so pressed though? Cause somebody tell me why she's so pressed. This girl presses a motherfucker, man. Get your man, get yourself together, girl, man. Stop that bullshit. Why are you so press? Catch me outside. I really, I really don't <laughs> see. I wish I had more pictures from that fucking photo shoot. I look dumb. See, you got her fans saying you bitches rude as fuck. Let her be who she wanna be. <laughs> I ain't go away with this one. I'm just laughing because I think this shit is hilarious. And I'm probably gonna have some people hate on me. Whoa, why are you hating on her for to be talking shit? Listen, this shit funny as fuck. This is what I do. Entertainment, comedy shit. Deal with it. Don't get emotional. Okay, because this time I might have the 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 the, the uh nah, not nah, the Beckys. I'm gonna I'm have the wiggers out here, man. They gonna get pissed off. The the bad baby fans. You you know who they are. <laughs> they gonna get mad at me, boy. But that's okay. I got love for y'all too. Shout out to the bad baby bitches out there. Y'all wiggers hold it down for 2020. No pressing. No pressing zone. You got some good ones too. Shit. Real ones in this bitch. You heard? If I if I fucking post this, y'all gonna say I'm trying to be black. Like, I could post anything y'all gonna say I'm trying to be like. She low-key do look pretty as fuck, though. <laughs> but them filters, boy, they be... <laughs> them filters. Y'all Instagram hoes, y'all know what y'all be doing. Y'all be messing with niggas' eyes and we be like, damn, this bitch look bad. So y'all can get a lot of likes and validation. You know what you be doing. You know what y'all be doing. But congratulations, man. Keep y'all self-esteem up, man. All y'all look beautiful. All of y'all. Put that 10 pounds of foundation. Get those implants. Get those get those implants on your cheeks. Get them on your ass. Get them titties. Get them on your cucumber mama. Do what you gotta do. I hate on you. Cause you be alright. This right here. Looking pale as a bitch, and y'all gonna say I'm trying to be black. Everything I do is just black, black, and be black, 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 black. <laughs> Fuck. I think she's having an identity crisis. <laughs> I'm slurring right now because I'm drunk as fuck. Yo, this chick sound like she's having an identity crisis, boy. I'm on that Irish cream and drinking some motherfucking vodka with that shit. I don't know. I'm on some European shit right now. Because I feel like I'm in World War II. And I'm hibernating until I get out. And I can just breathe the air again. This shit's crazy, man. Let's keep playing. I could put a blonde wig on. And blue fucking contacts. And wear my face white as fucking the, the fucking English people used to wear. You know the, the, how, how they used to put the powder on their face? I could put the fucking powder on my face like George Washington y'all still gonna say I'm trying to fucking be black fuck out of here tell him girl tell him why you mad I've never seen the internet go so crazy over a 17 year old girl like y'all don't got there's a whole fucking virus going on right now my how the hell is she still 17 man wasn't she like 17 like three years ago or some shit like i don't know i don't keep up with these reality tv show catch me outside bitch how about that on dr phil dr drew whatever the fuck doctor you came from bitch 
I don't keep, I don't keep tracks of that shit. I just think this shit is funny. And why are you showing your cuckoo mama, man? Come on, put some clothes on the white. Come on, man. She was black one moment, then she tried to look black. No, 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 no. She acted black. Then in other pictures, she looked at black. Now she just looks like a valley girl from the hills. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what what day. What are you just gonna be your natural self? I'm confused. One minute you're looking like a Latina, next minute you're looking black, then you're looking white. These filters, man, they're fucking with my head. Get it together, man. They're fucking with my head. Motherfuckers, uh, just call me. Where's your phone? Motherfuckers is dying right now. She look. Nah, I don't know. Wait a minute. Like, like for a side, she just look ghetto and nasty as shit. Look, look at this. Look at this big bird ass. Look. Oh my god. Good god. Look at this. Look at this nigga. Oh my. Look at the no. Yo, you bad baby fans gonna be mad at me. Listen, this is comedy. This is just for shits and giggles, guys. Just joking, okay? Hee hee ha ha. But listen, man. She look like a cokehead right now, boy. It look like you missing your teeth. Then. It's me. Where's your phone? It's like she's morphing. Mother like her face just morphed. She look ugly from the side, but then when she looks straight, she actually looks pretty. Man, you fucking with my head, man. Are you just using filters, bitch? Which one, man? You fucking with my head, man. I think you really are ugly, yeah. You ugly inside, girl. You ugly. Stop it. Is dying right now. Motherfuckers is out here dying from fucking diseases. I mean, from a disease that no one I even. See, I don't understand this, right? To me, I think she's just a bait trap for black men, bro. I was, man, how you gonna be looking like this and you 17, man? This is the type of chick that will f that will just flirt with your ass if you older, and throw the pussy at you. And then niggas who actually go for the pussy, who are younger, end up being fucked up. This is what happens, man. This is what happens. You guys gotta be smart. I would know, I would, listen, man. On the real, seriously now, I wouldn't be caught nowhere near this chick. This is nothing more than straight trouble. Trouble with a capital T trouble and jail time getting you for your money, but she would go for like entertainers to try to get that bag. I already know these types, man. Stay away. It has a cure for, and y'all are over here on my ass about getting my makeup done. Get the fuck out of here. Another thing I like to say is, y'all, y'all say that I, I try to be black because I, I grew, or I, and maybe a reason of me trying to be black because I grew up in the hood. Tarzan, right? He, he, the story of Tarzan, he grew up around the bears in the jungle. He monkeys. didn't know no better. Monkeys. He, the, monkeys. the monkeys, the mo whatever it was, the monkeys or the bears, whatever the fuck it was. I thought his friend was a bear. I thought it was a bear. No, that's the jungle book. That's yeah, but that's kind of fictional though. It's not real. <laughs> you can't compare that. But I, I, I get her analogy. I get what she's trying to say. She's trying to say she don't know no better, so you guys should just, like, maybe that was when she was smaller. I, I don't know what she's trying to say, but I, I'm trying to put everything all together in a retro perspective, in a logical terms. Maybe she's just trying to tell the world, listen, guys, I'm not that girl anymore. So we got to respect that, and that's cool. But, you know, you screaming and yelling and shit, and you got your kuka mancha all hanging out, nobody's going to take you seriously. This is being honest. That's the jungle book. Jungle book. I don't remember. I don't remember. All I know was Tarzan he grew up. He, yeah, listen. Tarzan was with the with the monkeys. He grew up with that. That's all he knows. When when someone grows up in a certain area or a certain place they're where that they're, they're exactly they're a part of their environment. They they only know what's been around them. They only know what's been taught to them. I'm sorry I didn't grow up in the fucking suburbs with the white girls with the blonde hair and the blue eyes. Cause you know what? I put money on it. I put goddamn fucking money on it that if I did grow up like that, I would be straightening my curly hair, dyeing my curly hair blonde, and, 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 um. Yeah, she is kind of right about it, though. I give I kind of give her credit. Uh, I don't think she grew up in a hood. She wasn't in a hood, but she was just in a low-class area, uh, where she hung out around a lot of black kids. 
but I don't think she really had it that hard as she's trying to proclaim it to be. Uh, because, listen, it's not about being black, but if you're from the urbans, you're from the streets, you don't need to, well, you're young too, but at the same time, you don't need to prove to anybody like how ghetto you and how ratchet you are and look where I came from. This is how I am. But you don't need to tell anybody that. I mean, look at Woe Vicky. Whoa, Vicky don't act all crazy. Niggas say, oh, she trying to be black. She be like, nigga, get the fuck out of here. I ain't worried about you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then people are like, oh, shit, it don't bother you that I'm fucking testing you out? Nah. But this girl right here is very emotional, man. See, yo, whoa, Vicky, is that her name? Yo, Vicky, whoa, Vicky. Man, she put hands on this chick. But at the same time, you know, I, you know, I kind of, yo, Vicky's like more, you know, I guess she's more, I guess she's more than a mature one because I guess she didn't really, she don't really take it to heart. This girl, I don't know, man. She all over the place with her emotions, man. She's crazy. And, and, and getting, yeah, getting the spray tan and, and the blue eyes and all the makeup and shit and all the, the nice, this, that, and the third, the bougie shit, because that's all I would know. Y'all over here mad at me because I grew up in a, because I grew up in a, I don't want to say the hood, I want to say in a hood type environment. Like, that's just all I know. I grew up in, y'all, y'all don't know nothing about no Cherry Hill. Y'all don't know nothing about no, off of, uh, no fucking MLK, no fucking Seacrest. Y'all don't know nothing about that shit. Okay, well, maybe I don't know about, about that shit. But, you know, maybe other people do. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like somewhere, wait, is that in California or some shit? I don't know. I just don't understand why she had to go after, uh. Uh, little Kim though, man, but, you know, Adrian Bruner, man, there was some foul things going on, people saying that Adrian Bruner was hitting her up with the DMs, or she claimed that Adrian Bruner was hitting her up in the DMs, you know what I'm saying, and Adrian Bruner, like like I said before, I think he's all wifed up and shit, well, he got a kid or something like that, but I don't know, shit is crazy, I don't know, she'll grow up one day, but anyways, man, let's get on to another story, man, with this guy over here, man, This this man, one, uh, or not one, but this Chicago guy, is he from Chicago? I think he's from Chicago, Indiana, or some shit like that. I don't know, one of them places over there in the Midwest, I think he's from. But this guy ends up getting a huge tax return in his account. He got $8.8 .8 million in his account. And he was only looking for 1700 And he filed a complaint about it to the bank, I guess. And he also went to the news about it. Do you think he did the right thing? I mean, what would you guys have done? Let's play. In Lake County, Indiana, I got quite a surprise when he visited an ATM and learned he'd already gotten a federal stimulus payment. Yeah, Dana Rebick is in <laughs> New, New Chicago with more on what turned out to be a rather unusual deposit. Dana. It was. This man is a volunteer firefighter here, and unbeknownst to him, he did get this first federal stimulus payment over the weekend, but it wasn't quite what he was expecting. I went to the ATM at uh, the Family Express, and once I withdraw $200 out of my account, I looked at the available balance of the that was still left in my account, and apparently my account had $8.2 million in it. And I'm like, what in the world is going on here? He come over, he said, you ain't gonna believe this. I said, come on, let's go. And let, me, uh, let me tell you something. Uh -huh. Here's mistake number one. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I don't care. I don't care what you say. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it one buck with you. If I see eight point eight million dollars in my bank account, nigga, <laughs> I ain't telling you. I ain't telling you, and I'm certainly ain't telling you. Okay, I ain't telling nobody. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that money out the bank now, not, not the whole thing not the whole thing I'll probably take about maybe 3 million 3, 4 million maybe 5 no, nah, nah, that's too much that's too much maybe about maybe, I can't overdo it that's about 3 million I try to take 3 million out but it'll be kind of weird like how do you how do you take out 3 million dollars man 
how do you take out three million dollars, man? See, man, I, I would I would try to let me tell you something. I would for I would open up a bank account, a foreign bank account somewhere. Try to wire that money out over there or some of that money. Put it over there. Put it in a bank account, and then uh, I'll try to get a flight over there. Cash that motherfucker out. Cash it all out. Cash it out, and hide that shit. Stash that shit somewhere. Because you, you cash it out in a different country somehow, I don't know. They're going to find your ass anyways, man. They got so much fucking technology and shit. They're going to find your ass, man. Just I right, scratch all that fucking shit. Just take some of that money, forward it to a foreign account, man, and then get the fuck out of Dodge, man. Leave America, man. Leave this motherfucker, man. You could live a good life somewhere in a different country, man. They ain't, they ain't going to catch you. They ain't going to track you down. You in a different country. You on other property, all the authority property. You could live like a king. Guess what? You good. You good. Nobody got to know who you are, man. You good. Take that money and go. Fuck that. I need to be rich, man. Fuck all you niggas, man. I'm leaving. I want to say shit. Think I'm telling the news people? Shit. I'll be scared as fuck. That's why I'm leaving the country. Because the moment they find out you take some of that money, ah, that's, that, that's federal time there, buddy. Because they know you ain't got no money. This man got $8.8 .8 million from a stimulus payment. Damn it. And I can't even get my tax return back on time. And these motherfuckers is getting $8.8 .8 million just right into their account. Good God. Why can't I get some look like that shit? You think I'm going to the motherfucking news station? You got me fucked up. Shit, not my black ass. Taking seven out. Look, look, look at this news guy. He like, ha oh, oh, what a dumbass. And she's like looking at you. Hmm, I know. Hey, John, if I would have had that money, you wouldn't see me here. <laughs> I would have taken that money and I would have left. Would you do the same thing, Johnny? <laughs> I wouldn't tell none of you motherfuckers. That's what he's thinking in his mind. He ain't fucking saying shit. Yeah, Dana Rebic is in New, New Chicago with more on what turned out to be rather unusual deposit. Dana. It was. This man is a volunteer firefighter here, and unbeknownst to him, he did get this first federal stimulus payment over the weekend, but it wasn't quite what he was expecting. I went to the ATM at uh, the Family Express, and once I withdraw $200 out of my account, I looked at the available balance. I want to see him smile. I bet you ain't got all your teeth. <laughs> I bet you ain't got all your teeth. <laughs> oh, there, boy. You ain't got all your teeth there, boy. Hey. Smile. Nigga like this. <laughs> you see? <laughs> he can't even smile. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's keep on playing. Of the... That was still left in my account. And apparently, my account... Had 8.2 million dollars in it. And I'm like, what in the world is going on here? He come over. He said, you ain't gonna believe this. I said, come on, let's go. And we went back up to the same spot where he drew go, and it pulled out 8.2 million. He was supposed to receive 1,700 dollars. That baby like, yep. And I can't believe it too. And it pulled out 8.2 million dollars. So let me ask you something with that 8.2 million dollars. Since it was in your account, are you going to get some of that for returning it back in? Are you going to get a reward? Shouldn't you get a reward? You ain't going to get shit. But if the U.S. government, if the tax government, whatever they call these people, the IRS, is able to give back that much money, damn. Maybe, maybe there's a reason why my tax return didn't come yet, man. This motherfucker got some of my money. You got some of my money, don't you, man? Man, they fucking up, man. Good God. This is probably why I didn't get my tax return, man. I probably got screwed. Motherfucker taking up all the goddamn income tax money. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Dollars. Calvin tried the ATM again. 8.2 million. He was supposed to receive $1,700. Calvin tried the ATM again. I ran the card again and again. $8.2 million. I was like, man. Something's up with this. Oh my I said, God, hey, I what like, kind of truck yeah. you buying me? <laughs> <laughs> this morning, Calvin called his bank. They didn't see that amount in his... Listen, man. If these... <laughs> listen. 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 He probably said to him, I guarantee you, his buddy, he said, yo, listen, buddy. 
probably he looked like he's the boss. He looked like he the boss. He's like the head. He looked like he might be the head honcho. Cause you know these short motherfuckers that look like this. They usually some bosses and shit in this place. And he he looked at him like, well, you know, I had to do the right thing. He looked like a regular employee guy who was a nine to five, and he's just trying to get by and pay his bills and shit. And he's like, oh, you want to have a job? Well, you gotta do what I say, there, buddy. You know, you're doing a good job. There, I'll probably give you a raise next month. But he probably was looking like nigga. Why didn't you just, why, man, we didn't take the money, we, 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 8.2 8. million dollars, he probably say, man, you better cash some of that out, man, what the fuck, take some of that shit, let's close this bitch down, we can fucking live our rest of our life. we can get the fuck out of here, we ain't gotta stay here no more, fuck the fuck goddamn Chicago nigga, Chirac and this bitch, we gotta be letting all fires, man, man, come on, man checking account anymore, but did note that his $1,700 stimulus payment was deposited, making this volunteer firefighter wonder if there was some sort of fluke and taxpayers are receiving way more or less than they should. Or maybe none, because I haven't received anything. Maybe this is some, some sort of fluke. I don't know, but I'm telling you this, if I got $8.2 million, I'm sorry, but I am going at an undisclosed location where nobody's gonna know where the fuck I'm at, man. I'm leaving the country, man. Federal Reserve money, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm out this bitch, boy. I'm out this country. I ain't paying no taxes. Probably gonna move to Canada or something like that, man. They say, are you, are you, are you planning on returning back? Nope. Let me tell you something. In those foreign countries, money talks, bullshit walks. That's why I love about it. So if I have eight to eight point two million dollars, I'll pay my way to live there. They ain't gonna be fucking with me. I'm gonna live like a king. <laughs> bye, America. Bye bye. Nice to know ya. See ya. What do you wanna be ya? I should give you pause and make you think what's going on. If there's some kind of uh, clerical error or what have you, you know, they should be on top of it. It kind of sucks. You go from being a millionaire on paper one second and then you're back to being broke again, you know. <laughs> You can suck. <laughs> you guys are being like eight point eight two million dollar man. Then you go for being broke. <laughs> no, you're going to be in a jackass. <laughs> you don't blow your money. <laughs> go gorsh. Who oh, gorsh there? I should go ahead and tell Bethy that I went ahead and tell these news people that. I had $8.2 million, so I decided to just give it away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. I decided to give it away. Because I'm a good citizen and I pay my taxes. <sighs> good God. Hey, but I guess, you know, once you're poor, you, you ain't got nowhere else to go up. I guess my guards are all goofy. Oh, I guess when you're poor, you got nowhere else but to go up. No, nigga, you didn't go up. You went down. 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 To the ground. Who the hell is going to give up $8.2 million? Good God, I would kick myself in the ass. Man, you need to take some of that money. Get the fuck out of here, man. Don't come back in this country, though. No. Oh, I will leave. You think I want to stay here for 8.2? Man, I'm taking I'm taking as much money as I can. I'm getting the fuck out. I'm leaving. Get me a mansion somewhere in Africa, boy. Either I get I nah, I want to get me a mansion. I'll give me a little house in Africa. A little condo. I want I want I want to be conservative with the money. So I want to buy something real nice and have a nice car. Just live simple. Have me something nice in Africa by uh K, K Verde. I give me a little place in K Verde. Always want a spot in Costa Rica too. I want to get a spot in Costa Rica. Give me a nice little um, condo down there. Maybe Colombia, not too sure, but I'm probably gonna do that, man. Just go live the the travel out of state life and just enjoy my riches. Cause I want to put my money in the bank though. Willing to put my money in the bank. I said I'll probably put it in a foreign bank, but you never know. The Americans might want to try to negotiate some deal and try to freeze the bank. And if they were to find my ass, I probably would have been locked up. But that's all right. This is why they ain't going to find me. They ain't going to find me. I'm going to have to be quick. Man, let me tell you. It's going to take them a while for them to find me. They ain't going to find me. I'm going to be in a different country, man. 
I listen, I live the rest of my days in a different country. I'm good. As long as I got cable, I got internet, I can do my shows overseas. Like, hey guys, you want to see this buddy? Who wants to be the lucky person? Who wants to win some money? I'll probably get, I'll be giving out money every week to you motherfuckers. I'll be like, yo. The first contestant to answer this question right now, I'm giving away a stack. I'm giving away 10 stacks. 10 stacks to answer the question. Five stacks. Motherfuckers would be oh, calling my line. Oh, 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 I need that money. I'll be giving away money. You know what I'll probably do? I'll probably do this. Okay. For the first, for the first, no, 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 no. I wouldn't even give away money. Fuck all that. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. For the first 100,000 subscribers, okay, for the first 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to give y'all $1,000. That's 100 grand. See, I did my math, nigga. 100 grand, I think it is. 100 grand. 100 subscribers. You're going to get 100. I'm going to give away $100,000. And it's going to be $1,000 a piece. Everybody's going to get 1000 100,000 people is going to get $1,000 from me. I'm going to do it like that. Just to show my loyalty, feedback, the community. You know what I'm saying? I'm like Robin Hood. Rob from the rich, give to the poor. Yeah, boy. We did reach out to a spokesperson at the White House tonight about this situation, but have not heard back from them yet. And Calvin's not quite sure if this was an error on the government's behalf, uh, his bank, or if this was just an ATM fluke. But he says he's just glad that he did receive the proper stimulus amount that he was entitled to. Live in New Chicago, Indiana. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm so glad I got the popular stimulus check. <laughs> this guy's like, what a dumbass. <laughs> She's like, damn, if he would have had that money, I would have sucked his dick. He put about, he could have got ass from her. He could have probably got ass from her. And if this motherfucker was gay, he probably would have had ass from him too. I'm just saying, this motherfucker had eight point something million dollars. In Chicago, he would have had uh, Chicago at his feet. He could have came out with a movie about this shit. He would be famous. For the man who stole eight point something million dollars and flew the coop. This motherfucker flew the coop and went to a different island. Nobody knows where the hell he's been. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. Everybody was like, yeah, boy. Oh, I'll go to Jamaica. Have me an island. A nice tropical place in Jamaica. Have me some ackee and salt fish. Some dumpling. Some sweet potato. Dana Rebic, WGN News. Government's lucky he only took out 200 bucks of <laughs> yeah, that $8 really. million. <laughs> He's got a Dana. good attitude. All yeah, right. that was the limit. Yeah. <laughs> in Lake wow, County. Wow, that was the limit. Oh, my goodness. What an airhead. Okay, now, for the last section of the video, man, we got to talk about this, man. Young Chopper is at it again, man. Chopper style. Chop, chop, chopper style. Chopper's at it again. He's losing his mind. He's going after rappers, or is he? Or is he just exposing the truth and people thinking he's crazy? I don't know. There's a current certain things that kind of got me thinking a little bit about Chopper. Sometimes he kind of make people look like fools, and sometimes he kind of like make you scratch your head, like what? Or he's just trolling. I don't know what it is, but it seems to me that he knows a lot. And for some crazy reason, I actually believe this guy. Well, let's keep on playing. Now he's talking about drill music where drill music came from and you got this uk rapper that's out here saying fuck america and new york rap and now listen i'm a new yorker myself and i grew up in the mean streets of new york and i happen to love my new york ish but one thing we are as new yorkers we are proud of where we come from and we don't stand for nobody fucking with the east coast or talking shit so Chopper's saying, well, fuck New York, because that music came from us. Then you got the UK niggas saying, well, fuck both of y'all. We really had the drill music first. So it's like, oh, shit. There's going to be a, a massive, massive argument here. And I'm going to give you my personal opinion, what I think. Where did drill music come from? Did it come from originally Chicago? 
It ain't come from New York. I know that. But did it really come from New York? Think about that. Or did it come from the UK? Or did UK get it from New York and then Chicago with this shit? It's crazy, but I'm going to break it all down and make you guys kind of think. So you guys be the judge. You guys think where drill music actually came from. Originally, the birthright of drill music. Let's play. UK, Australia, Canada, New York. New York. Yeah. That's all our shit. You know? Yeah, like when I hear Casanova, when yeah. I hear Pop Smoke. That's our know, shit. Like, yeah. So if they want, you know, it's it's a lot of shit going on right now. So niggas want to claim our shit because it was eight years ago. They doing shit we were saying eight years ago. We on a whole nother wave. See what I'm saying? Come on now. You yeah, got some. Fuck America. Oh. Tell them we're English. You think shit's sweet around there? Pussy. Who's he mad at? What do you think they're bad? Could they do drive bys and all that? They got strip club. Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> listen, I'm smoking that shit too. But listen, this this guy right here, right? He's from the UK, and I don't know his name. I, I, what what the hell is his name? Somebody found his name. I can't get the name of it. I, I don't know. He's got, he he has like a weird name to him. But anyways, y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyways, he's a UK rapper. Um, and apparently he doesn't like American drill music, or he's claiming that drill music. We make the real shit here in New York took the drill music, I guess, in Chicago. So, um, let me just start from the beginning so you guys can hear that shit. Come on now. Fuck America. Tell them we're English. You think shit's sweet around there? Post I never really understand with UK people when they say fuck America. What do you think we are here? English? I'm like, uh, I thought English was a language, <laughs> but I, I, I know that's what they refer to themselves as being English. But I mean, English is what you speak. English is what you are. Um, we're Americans and we speak English too. So it's like, why are you saying fuck your cousins? Cause isn't America and England like distant cousins or in the family? Cause we, we all speak English, right? But this shit is weird. Pussies. We're pussies now. What do you think they're bad? Cause they do drive bys and all that and they got strip club. Fuck all that. What? Every American rapper I bought all them years, they was nervous. Oh. He said, America, what? They were nervous. Oh, shit. <laughs> it said Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke were nervous. Yo, shout out to Pop Smoke, man. Pop Smoke is my nigga, boy. R.I.P. to the young man, Pop Smoke, man. He was cool, bro. I love me some Pop Smoke, man. I just, I just think this is fucked up what happened to Pop Smoke, man. Pop Smoke, man, oh man, that, that kid, that young boy was on a rise, boy. He was he was about to shake the roof. This Christy Dior Dior, up up and in the stars. Billy Jean, Billy Jean. I can't even do his voice. His voice, I can't even do that shit. Christy Dior Dior. You know, I try to do it, but his voice is like real raspy and shit. I ain't got a raspy voice like that, but. Man, he was one of a kind, man. He reminded me of a mini, like a junior 50 and shit, but, you know, shout out to Pop Smoke, by the way, but this nigga right here, he bugging right now. Fuck America. What the fuck? It said Pop Smoke. Okay, Pop, Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke, what Have you hang up? I think the reason why he say Pop Smoke wasn't nervous because I don't think any New York artist knows you. <laughs> I've never heard of you until now. And you said fuck American hip hop and shit. That shit is. But listen, man, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you how something, man. America, Black Americans, okay, including this America. Period. There's people outside the country that don't like your asses. There's a bigger enemy out there. You think the motherfucker Corona was something deadly? Shit. It got me realizing and opening to the world. Like, damn. We out here fighting each other amongst each other in this little circle, in this little bubble, like Americans, right? We out here making this music. Hold on, fuck that shit. Let me fix this shit. We out here making this music, right? As Americans, we make hip hop, we make drill music and shit. We having arguments, but meanwhile, we got niggas like this in a different country saying, fuck America, nigga. This nigga said, fuck America. 
Fuck all American artists, man. Y'all niggas is trash, boy. That is crazy. But we out here, we out here fighting each other over who who took drill music and who started drill music and all this other shit. But I'm gonna get down the laws of physics of the actual essence of urban music in just a moment. But let's keep on playing. <laughs> Fuck America. Damn. Tell them. We're English. English. You think shit's sweet around there? Oh. Pussy. <laughs> what do they think they're about? Could they do drive bys and all that? This nigga gonna come out right now. They. <laughs> this nigga, imagine this dude coming out. Nigga gonna come out here like. Fuck our American. Fuck our you American Yankees. Fuck you. You all need to die. Fuck you, Americans. Oh my god, it's tea time. I can't be out right now and start to war. Motherfucker go down there and start crossing his legs and drinking tea and shit. It's tea time. Okay, it's over with tea time. Thank you. Thank you, Americans. Good god. They got strip club. Fuck all that. They got strip Every American rapper I bought all them years, they was nervous. Ooh. He giving a shout out to all you American artists saying all you niggas was nervous coming out there to the UK. Y'all was nervous with them gunshots and my bang bangs. Y'all was nervous out there. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if this is his clout or not, man. I think this is some clout. Why would Why would you say that? Now listen. Let me just keep on playing, man. I ain't gonna talk. I'm gonna wait for this shit to be over with. This shit crazy. I know y'all tired of me talking, but fucking let's play. It's that pop smoke. Pop smoke right there. Shout out Pop Smoke though. But you tweak it. You cap it. I like it's an England thing. It's an England thing. They got everyone in the UK. He's starting a war. Sooner or later they're gonna be begging it with us. And make sure we stay how they stayed with us. Fuck them. Oh America. Oh. Fuck you. Why? Okay, hold up. This nigga said fuck America, but did a song except for Pop Smoke. Why would you say fuck America, though? What did America do to you? I'm trying to figure that one out. What, what did America do to you? And, I mean, listen, nothing for nothing, but... He's not the only person that feels that way in the UK about Americans. Because I get really disrespected by a lot of UK people. Not all. Not all. Now, there's some that are real nice, but there are some that are really snobbish and very disrespectful towards Americans. Very hostile. And I wonder, well, where is this hostility coming from? Because when I used to travel to England, because I got family in Europe and shit over there in England. I used to get a lot of love out there because people, you know, they love the accent. They're like, oh, say that again. Say that again. You're American, huh? I say, yeah, I'm American and shit. Ladies used to love that shit. I used to get a lot of poo tang out there. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I had a lot of sexy ass little British woman. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, man, them British ladies were sexy out there, but come on, man. This is crazy, man. Like, I never thought there was this much hate until I started to work into the traveling industry. And, you know, I mean, being a driver, you know, I came across a lot of British people and they weren't too friendly. I thought it was just, oh, they don't like black people, but nah, they just don't like Americans. But they still visit the country, though. But there's a lot of them that just don't like Americans. I don't know where this hate comes from, but I don't even think America even acknowledges UK. I don't even think we think they exist. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just being real. A lot of us is not thinking about the UK every day. But you guys wake up thinking about us. Why? Because we are always on the back of everybody's minds. Because whatever moves we make, bitches, y'all follow. And that is the truth. It's the same thing with hip-hop. If you really want to get down to laws and physics, okay, just to correct you and just correct Chopper, okay? Because the essence of hip-hop started out in the South Bronx, Okay, if you really want to get technical with it, it started off with break dances, then bebop music. You know what I'm saying? Bebop music. 
You know what I'm saying? That they started doing the little break dances and shit. You know, then they do the freestyle. And then they had the big boom boxes and shit from the 80s going down to the 90s and shit. Then hip hop transformed until until it became more of a, a dance type music. Then they started, then the South took it and they, they crunked it up. And then in the, area, in the early 2000s, it became crump. And then getting into the late 2000s, like the early maybe 20s, you know, 2017 through to 2020 it started to break down and we got to the mumble era in the 2015 16 era then from the mumble era then it became more drill then it got into some sort of drill and the drill became underground but drill is an essence of hip-hop even though they're trying to say drill has nothing to do with hip-hop drill is different listen it don't matter drill music is an essence of hip-hop that's all it is drill music is a descendant from hip hop, but it started out in Chicago. Chicago was the birthright of the drill music scene. There's no taking that away from it. But drill music wouldn't be drill music today if it wasn't for hip hop. And everybody knows that. If it wasn't for hip hop, there would be no drill music. Because that's where it originally came from. So where did New York hip hop originally came? Well, I just said it. Hip hop originated originated in the South Bronx. That's the birthright of it. So you cannot tell any New Yorker at all that you swagger jack and you taking. We are the originators of this motherfucker. And New Yorkers always will be. Whether you like it, whether you like it or you don't like it, it's just a known fact. But the drill music essence came from Chicago. But then again, there's a definitive argument here. Because now we got the UK. The UK started off around the time with drill music. But they started off drill music around when Chicago was making drill music. But Chicago never heard of UK drill music because all Chicago knew was what was going on in their hood. They didn't give a fuck about what was going on in other people's hoods. Like The other world did not exist to them because they were just stuck where they were. Just like with this UK brother right here. The other worlds don't exist to him. He probably only met Pop Smoke. Because Pop Smoke was probably the only American to give props to the UK. But you got to understand though. Pop Smoke was the only person that was using those UK drop drop beats. That's added with the drill music. You know, not like that. that, I can't even do it right. But y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Pop Smoke took that swag from the UK and upgraded it. But he also gave respect to the UK artists because he used his music and he perfectioned it. He did it to a way where America's was hooked onto it. So just because you didn't do art new music with other artists in New York, that doesn't mean you have a right to say, well, fuck America and fuck all people from New York and shit. Like, the fuck? You just open up a can of worms right there. Now people are going to be like, well, who the fuck is you? Now you made yourself famous. Maybe this is what he wanted to do to create a buzz. Is this a start of a war of a new East Coast, West Coast beef? But this is like with uh, different countries. (laughs) We got the East Coast, which is UK. What's going to be a form of what UK, German. You know what's going to happen, man? This is going to be some crazy shit. But for some reason, I think it's going to be some UK rappers, some German rappers, everybody from from Europe is going to gang and start making songs about American artists. And American artists are going to start making songs about them. It it could lead out into a war or it could just lead out to something that's like some fucking clout shit that will kind of boost up. Because now people in America are going to know who they are over there and like, oh, shit, these people, they kind of spitting pretty raw. Even though some of the languages may be kind of funny, we may not understand the shit. But, you know, it, hey, man, them dudes are pretty, they tight. So, I mean, the same thing could be said with UK artists. I'm pre- Listen, man. Truth of the matter is this. Whatever New York does, the whole world does. We've always been the center point of fashion trendsetters. I mean, it's a known fact. The only thing that was different is, like, the West Coast, L.A., had their own style. And... Down South had a little bit of their own style too, but they kind of took a little bit of the Midwest 
and the West Coast a little bit, and maybe some East Coast flavor, and kind of made it into their own, you know what I mean? So, in a way, the true essence of music, really and truly, man, came from the islands. Started from the islands, it probably started from Africa, but the, the drums, the drums, and then New York took it, the drums, and the African beats, and from the Caribbean, and from from Africa, and then they used those drum beats, and they made hip-hop out of it, which started out in the South Bronx, and then from there, just expanded out to everywhere, everybody knows that, so come on, man, stop the bullshit, but there would be no drill music without hip-hop, that's a known fact, because it did kind of descended from that era of music, if y'all catch my drift, man, some of y'all will understand, some of y'all may not even agree with me, that's fine, Y'all can agree with me, you can disagree with me. That's cool. But do your history. Everything has a formality of where music has come from. Then it it, it 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 circles around the world. So it's beautiful, man. This hip hop shit is beautiful, man. It's it's going around everywhere. Everybody has their own sound, their own wave. So why the fight? I wonder if you're just doing this for clout, man. Cause I mean now nah, it's a good time. You're gonna get noticed now. America's really gonna take notice to this guy. Cause they're like, what, what the fuck? Who what? Who's he? He did a song with Pop Smoke. What? <laughs> and people are gonna really want to listen to this dude. So you, he might, he might, just, he's gonna probably get American fans. I guarantee you, he's probably gonna get some New Yorkers. Like, oh shit, this nigga go ride it. This nigga, nigga spazzing. Oh shit, oh shit, he's spazzing. But then it might turn into a coastal kind of beef. I hope it doesn't get violent. I just hope it's just for the sport of it, to where it could be fun again. I'm just saying. But this is entertaining as shit, though. You weird people. <laughs> See them taking the drill and that the, they better pay some homage. <laughs> I start rubbing these American rappers when they come over. It. <laughs> Me and my boys. Okay. Let me tell you something about the drill music in, in, in UK. There's a lot of artists that do songs with American artists and Listen, American artists go over to UK to get that money. They do their music because guess what? Their music sells over there. People in the UK are buying a lot of American records, man. So you saying fuck America? Listen, your fans are American fans and they buy music from American artists, okay? So <laughs> I just find it quite ironic that you say fuck America, but you know, it is what it is because those are the only people that actually can help you get more of a bag because listen, Honestly, if I was an artist, I wouldn't say fuck anywhere to fuck up my, honestly, I wouldn't even reply. If I was an American artist, I wouldn't even reply to this guy. Why would I start a coastal beef with this dude and fuck up my bag over there? Hell no. Especially if I'm traveling out there to UK, I'm going to Germany and all that. I'm going to all the car. I'm getting this money. You think I'm going to fuck up my money by getting into a beef with one of their peoples? Nah, man. I'm like, man, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, I ain't got nothing to say about that. No. Sorry he feels that way, but I'll be like, hey, shout out to my UK rappers out there, man. I got love for y'all, man. It's like that. Man. I got love for American rappers too. Shit. I'm trying to get money from everywhere. West Coast rappers. I got love for my West Coast rappers. I got love for my South rappers. I got love for my East Coast. I'm from the East Coast where I'm from. That's where I rap. I say I got love everywhere. Canadian. European and shit Like I ain't trying to have hate for nobody man I'm trying to get this bag Ain't no hate around here You think Snoop Dogg would say some shit like Hell no Hell no That'll fuck up your whole bag And then you're gonna need extra security Where you go certain places For what? You gotta check in there mate Check in there mate Check in mate Check in mate Check mate Check mate <laughs> Gotta check in there mate We gotta stab your hair bloke Huh? I can't even do the British accent, bro. I'm, I'm, I got caught by like about like I can't. I can do the Australian accent very well. I'm like, oh my god, there, mate! Look at the size of that whopper! Look at the size of that whopper, there, mate! It's a big whopper. <laughs> This nigga look like he came out of a Calvin Klein magazine. Yo, man, if you don't shut your daddy Yankee looking ass up, nigga. If you don't, you nigga look like a reggaeton artist, man. Get your pretty boy ass out of here, boy. Boy. 
boy looked like one of the one of that 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 ex con that 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 dude that went to jail and shit. What's that? What's that? That jail guy that all these women went crazy over and shit, man. A few years back, and he became a model and shit. I forgot the dude's name. That's what this, this old pretty ass looking motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck wrong with you, man? Come on, man. Get it together. Come on, man. Ain't nobody scared of you, boy. Taking the drill sound. That actually came from Chicago. I'm just saying, y'all took it from Chicago. I don't know about that, man. I, I might, I, I don't know. I think it's a toss up because UK has been around for a while with the drill scene, but their drill scene was kind of different. But Chicago came out with that shit first, man. At least to my knowledge. Hold on, let me let me see if I can find some, cause maybe I need to maybe I need to maybe let me do some. Let me educate my mind real quick. Let me let me put some uh, UK drill drill music started. Let me hold on. Should I say what? Let me see what. Yeah, I know Google ain't gonna lie to me. What year UK drill music started? I know Google ain't gonna lie to my ass, so we gonna we gonna get this shit together. Twenty twelve DK the UK drill UK drill is a sub gene of drill music and road rap that originated in the South London district. Of okay, South London, of Brist of uh, district of Brixton, from 2012 onwards, influences by the style of Chicago drill music. UK drill artists often rap about violent and head out. Of, oh shit! I feel I hear. I mean, I feel I heard them cops, man. It's past. It's past. Uh, uh, curfew and shit. Criminal lifestyles. Okay. Okay, so it says that their influences are from Chicago drill music. So that means, let me see. Now let's remember that 2012, what year Chicago, Chicago drill music started. So now they said that UK is the, um, influencers of the Chicago style drill music which I thought that to myself I had a good feeling it started out in Chicago oh shit see it was, uh, it was the same time who okay where did drill rap originated from here here's the answer Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. This is this is this is gonna solve all the answers for everybody. I could be wrong. It says where did drill rap originated? The rap the rapping style came from the woodland neighbors of Dro City. It was developed in the crime riddled South Side Chicago. The UK counterparts of drill music originated in Brixton, oh shit. So, UK started their drill music in Brixton. Chicago started their shit in Riddled South Side. They started around the same time. But how can they both all have that same type of style music unless one of them was copying off of one around the same era? Because, you know, one thing I can say about the UK people, they like to keep up to date with modern day times or whatever Americans do, they start doing they copy off of everything Americans do. So don't try to listen, man. We got to be real with ourselves, okay? Yeah, they could be hood. Yeah, they could be gangster and shit. And they could be like poking niggas with knives and shit. But listen, nigga, we bust guns. I'm not saying y'all don't either, but I don't really see y'all bust too many guns. I just see y'all be poking niggas with these long ass motherfucking uh, Sylvester Stallone uh, Rambo fucking knives and shit. Like, I see them big ass knives, man. Them shits will <laughs> cut a hole in a nigga, though. I'll tell you that. But at the same time, you can't be coming out here saying that. Fuck America, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. 
How you gonna say fuck America, man? Well, you know, you know you be listening to that shit in America. You know you be, man, you be biting that style. A lot of y'all originated that style. Come on, man. It emulates the Chicago drill scene with its focus on violence, money, and crime. Okay, that's what it did. They just they they imitated the same scene. Whatever American men do, whatever America music does, same follows, man. Same follows, man. They they do the same shit. Ain't nothing different. But anyways, guys, man, that's all for today. Thank you all for joining the Andrew Two Six One Zero One Show. Those of y'all who are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Haters. Keep hating. Y'all bored. Just like me. Quarantine. And so I'm expecting to hate. Keep on hating. People who love me. I love you too. And you sexy women out there. Daddy loves you too. Anyways. Get that thumbs up man. Hit the channel. Subscribe button. Y'all know the rest. I'm saucy right in this bitch. Anyways. I want to know what your opinions are. Do you think drill music originally came from Chicago? Do you think New Yorkers are biting off? Or do you think UK is the originators of the shit? And everybody's biting off of UK. Or do you think that everybody's just so uneducated to what's going on in society that we shouldn't be worried about the shit? Just like Bad Baby was talking about, man. Just like Bad Baby was talking about, man. We need to worry about coronavirus. Fuck, we worry about some dumb shit for. We got bigger things to fry, man. Anyways, guys. I'm your host, Andrew 26101 Show. You guys be safe out there. With your boys. Damn, son, where'd you find this?